okay guys you are welcome one more time to this analysis you know this is the place where i talk about forex a lot um, what i base on is to analyze the market for you okay now let us go on to analyze this usd jpy because we've been on this for so long okay uh the last time we talked about it we, we 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 did analysis that looks something like this where i said now the price will have to you know come into this zone okay into this zone if i could remember into this zone okay before we know if we're gonna sell it but as you see what the price did it came around the zone it even got into it before it dropped and then i said that okay i will never tell you that this zone this zone i will never tell you that that is where we're gonna end it no i told you that if we break this zone then we shall have more to the downside and what is going on right now with the usd jpy that we can see there's going to be a kind of retracement a little bit to the upside before we get the longest moves to the down now what is going to happen let's put bollinger band so that we can know exactly where the retracement will happen bollinger band period of 50 is what i use okay as you can see now let's do this analysis okay now this price let us delete this line let's delete this line we are going to delete this line now the price will definitely retrace to the middle band of this bollinger band okay and this is what we're going to use we use the top band bollinger band now we have a structure right inside here okay now we are expecting the price to come back around this structure this structure right here around this structure let me put my entry trigger on the middle bollinger band okay that's my entry trigger the green one but this is our structure right now we have a structure right here and then when the price then retrace to this middle band then we have more of the downside okay and where are we gonna end this thing let's talk about it properly you can see the h4 going down let me project it properly for you the h4 continue to the downside okay and then where are we gonna take the profit now let's say the price is actually coming around this zone right here it's coming around this zone right here okay that is where the take profit is gonna be around this zone okay but i will prepare this random number right here this is your take profit number three final one this is your take profit the amount of the bollinger band itself is your take profit number two and then your take profit number one is exactly this zone you should mark the zone by yourself this is take profit number one this is take profit number two a random figure you can take a look at it this is all about it this is all about it okay and i guess the price may come here as a final retest to the downside this is a structure the price is coming here let me make it a yellow line so that we can know that okay i think i'm running out of time but this is the analysis this is the final zone so let's go back to the one hour and see what we got i'm out of time this is the usdjpy market analysis for you so all you just need based on this analysis is to get your own tool that tells you to sell then you can be able to sell when your tool says you should sell let us remove